I do not know where I put that. I've got my glasses on, but I don't have my glasses on. But, I mean, wait, wait just a minute. Ha, here they are. These are, oh, wait a minute, you guys. I didn't even know you were here. <laughs> Welcome to Kid Stuff TV. I'm Pastor Norv, and all this month, it's a new month, the month of July, but we're talking about faith, the same way we did in the month of June. You know, tr faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Well, you know, I can see my, through my glasses and I, I trust that I've had my glasses on, but these aren't the glasses that I normally like to wear. Well, it's, it's kind of involved and, and, and you, you need to know, today our bottom line is you can help others know Jesus. Oh, that's really, really important. But right now, I'm just trying to help myself find my glasses. Oh, I know, I've got my glasses on. But these are the glasses that slide down my nose. Then I push it and they slide down and I push them and oh, but I know where my other glasses are, you see, because ha, here they are. Look at here, right here, right here. These are my firsties. These are my firsties. You know what I call these? my second pair of glasses, that's what I call them. Because these are my firsties, I normally would wear these glasses, but there's a problem with them. Problem is that the nose piece, look at here, can you get, can you, can come, come real close. You see the nose piece fell off of my glasses here, like the first week that we had this COVID virus, it was terrible. And I suddenly, and I couldn't get them fixed. Nobody would, was open to fix them. So then I remembered, wait a minute, I bought a second pair of glasses. So I told my firsties, sorry gang, but I can't wear you anymore until we get you fixed. But I went in and I got my second pair of glasses. Now these were a pair of glasses that I bought. So when I travel and whatnot, if something happened to my firsties, I could go to my second pair of glasses. So that's what I've been wearing. Except my second pair of glasses, well, they kind of are a little bit too big and they slide and then I push them up and then they slide. But anyway, at least I'm grateful that I've got them. Uh, it's really important, but that's a lot of stuff about nothing. Instead, let's do something really special. I've got a brand new song for you. Now, somebody might say, well, it's been around for a long time, but maybe not like this.
Wow, you guys, good job. Faith, faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. You know, it's like Ephesians chapter two, verse eight says, God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. Nope, not at all. It is God's gift to you. Wow, it's special, it's wonderful. It's the way God intended it to be. You see, today we are talking about some great things. Our bottom line says you can help others know Jesus. Faith, it's trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. That's what it's all about. And that's what Erica wants to tell you about today. And near as I can tell, she's been having some fun with glasses. Hello everybody, Erica here, and welcome back to another week in the STEAM Lab. Whenever you're learning new things, experimenting, inventing, or anything else one might do in a lab, you need to make sure you have faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. And you also have to have something to work with. Today, I asked a few people to let me borrow their glasses for the day. Cheers! Just kidding! Eye glasses, not water glasses. <laughs> I see you! Uh, uh. Okay, these are reading glasses. They're supposed to help you see things better close up. Let's see. Oh wow, yep, they really work. I see things a lot more clearly. It's like, it's like, it's like focused, blurry. Focus, blurry. But look what happens when I put on these glasses. They're for someone who is really farsighted. Wow, I can't see anything, I can't see anything. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like blurry, blurry. Focus, focus, blurry. Blurry! Focused. Isn't that wild? There are a lot of different kinds of glasses. And the reason is because there are a lot of different kinds of people. Not everyone sees the same way. And today's story is about when a guy named Paul met some people who saw things a little bit differently than he did. Go see for yourself. You, you, see, what I, you see what I did there? Ah. Okay. Meanwhile, I've got some more glasses to try on. Whoa. These are X-ray glasses. I can see my bones! Just kidding. <laughs> Seriously though, when did I get that freckle? <laughs> that Erica, what a crazy, crazy individual. But you need to remember, our bottom line says you can help others know Jesus. And today our theme says, I wanna know what love is. This is Paul in the city of Athens, Greece where he talks to the people about something they call the unknown God. They were just kind of trying to protect themselves against all the gods that they worshiped. And Paul, the apostle Paul, had to come and tell them about the true God, the God that you and I worship, the God in the Bible, the God who is enough. Watch this. The Bible, it's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, 
Inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 17, verses 16 through 34. Wherever Paul went, he boldly preached the good news of Jesus. This Jesus I'm telling you about is the Messiah. Many Jews and Greeks believed in Jesus, but in nearly every town, a group of Jews would gather to oppose Paul. He and his companions were forced out of Thessalonica, and then later that same group of Jews followed to run Paul out of Berea. Eventually, the believers helped Paul escape to the coast, where he could travel by boat to Athens. Tell Silas and Timothy to join me as soon as they can. Once Paul reached Athens, he walked the streets of the ancient city, disturbed by what he saw, carved and molded statues everywhere. Statues of their gods. The people really believe false gods can help them. In fact, the Athenians believed in around 30,000 false gods. Yeah, they believed these gods were in charge of everything from uh, sports to sleep to doors and cleanliness. A god of grapes, okay. While Paul waited for his friends, he visited the Jewish synagogue to tell Jews and Greeks alike about Jesus. And in the marketplace, he spoke to anybody who would listen. You have to hear about Jesus. He was killed, but he came back to life. Paul's words stirred up a group of Athenian thinkers. These men felt that they could uh, achieve perfection through knowledge and wisdom. Can you explain what this fellow is chattering about? He seems to be telling us about gods we've never heard of. We shall take this Paul to a meeting of the Areopagus. There, we shall reason it out. Set high on an outcropping of rock, the Areopagus was the high court of Athens. And from this viewpoint, Paul could see all of Athens spread out below him. Closer at hand, the gathered Epicureans and Stoics studied Paul. What is this new teaching you're giving us? You have some strange ideas we've never heard before. Hmm, we would like to know what they mean. <sighs> Paul took a deep breath. These people treated new ideas like playthings, so he wanted to connect the story of Jesus with something they already knew. People of Athens, I see that you are very religious in every way. We are aware of this, please proceed. Paul recalled a small carved altar he had discovered while exploring the city. As I walked around, I looked carefully at the things you worship. I even found an altar with to an unknown God written on it. Now, I'm going to tell you about this unknown God. Paul explained to them that the true God created the entire world and everything in it. He created each individual person with a purpose and an adventure to live. He did it so that people would seek him and find him, even though he is not far from any of us. Preposterous. Continue. Paul knew that these Athenians might listen to the words of their own writers that might actually reflect something of who God is. In him we live and move and exist. As some of your own poets have also said, we are his children. Uh, an interesting point. Paul told them that people are God's children. God is alive and real, not some carved statue or molded from gold. And now by sending Jesus, God was telling everyone everywhere to turn away from the bad things they've done and to follow him. God has proved this to everyone by raising Jesus from the dead. Preposterous! Fascinating. More like fantasy. Get this joker out of here. No, 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 no. This is new, uh, fresh. We will hear you speak about this again sometime. A man called Dionysius had been among the crowd at the Areopagus. He hurried to catch up as Paul left. I want to know more about this living God, about Jesus. I can help you, friend. So Paul continued to spread the good news and love of Jesus, and after a short time, Dionysius became a follower of Jesus, as well as a woman named Damaris and several others. You guys, faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Now, there I go again. No, no, you join me this time, you ready? 
Everybody say it together. Faith, okay, here we go now. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. And our bottom line today says, you can help others know Jesus. Now, I just wanna show you something that's kind of helped me appreciate my glasses. Well, my second pair of glasses. You see, because I found some special glasses. These were glasses that my grandma and my aunt had. Let me see if I can find them here. Um, oh yes, here's a pair. I'll just take off my second pair of glasses. And, whoo, these are strong. Let's see if I can get this on. Hey, <laughs> good to see y'all. Oh my, oh, actually I can't see a thing. But uh, these are the glasses that they used to wear. You see how thin? Yeah, let me just see here if I can get these off. Look at that. See how thin the wires are on these? And see how strong the lenses are? These were special glasses. But then I found this other pair of glasses. Now I think these are sunglasses, but they probably wouldn't fit on my regular glasses. So I can just stick them here. Hello! <laughs> so good to see you all. Oh my. All right, enough of this. Glasses come in all shapes and all sizes. And it's good to know, it's good to know that Erica has found just the right glasses for her for today. So without further delay, let's go see how Erica's doing. I know it's a banana, but it just looks like a blurry yellow blob. Whoa! It's hard to focus when you can't see clearly, but I think it's important to try and see things from another person's point of view like Paul and the people in Athens. They believed in different gods than Paul. That's why Paul tried to see things how they saw things, so he could tell them about Jesus in a way they'd understand. He told them about the living one true God who created the whole world and everything in it. And he told them that God proved how powerful he was by bringing a man back from the dead. That man was God's son, Jesus. Many of the people from Athens had never heard of anything like that before. Some thought Paul was kind of crazy, but others wanted to hear more. And Paul was able to help them know Jesus the way he knew Jesus. That's something we can do too! It's the one thing to remember today. You can help others know Jesus. That can be easy if you're talking to someone who sees things the same way you do. But when someone sees things differently, when they believe differently, or when they've had different experiences than you, it helps to try and see things from their point of view. Oh, yes, I see what you're saying now. The best thing to do is to try to keep it real. Be honest about what Jesus has done for you. And it's not just in what you say. You can help people know Jesus by what you do too. When you treat people with love, respect, and kindness, they can see the love of Jesus through you. Everyone's different, and we all see things just a little bit differently. So I think it makes sense to try to see things the way other people see them. And you don't even have to change your glasses to do it. I'll see you next time. Bye. See you guys later. Oh, hold on. Uh, oh, that's a table. Don't forget, faith is trusting in what you can't see, like Eric has just realized, because of what you can see. Huh. And she realized that too. You know what, you guys? This has been a great, great day. I've learned a lot, but I've also been reminded that glasses really are important. If you wear glasses, be grateful for them. It really helps our eyesight. Think about the people years and years ago who couldn't wear glasses. They didn't have any glasses to wear. And they walked around and it was hard for them to see, but we can see and we can see what God is doing in our life, and we can see who needs God in their life. And we can be bold enough and honest enough to share our faith with them. Oh, that's what it's all about. But uh, without further delay, enjoy this song. 